this this author here, uh, Mr. Griffiths, he writes about Mr. Eaton. He says, Mr. Eaton founded the first Baptist school on the continent for the education of youths for the ministry. Now, at this time, you had some a couple of Ivy League schools, and we know that some of our Reformed writers talk about how great Harvard was and all that. Remember, Harvard was a place where Henry Dunster lost his job because he rejected infant right. baptism. They don't ever tell you about that part. Uh, and, of course, Yale was certainly not started as a Baptist college. You could not get uh, a what they would call a higher education in any of the schools because if you were a Baptist, uh, of course, you were on the outside and couldn't get a, a, an education. So that's one of the reasons why they called our, our ministers ignorant and, yeah, right. and so forth. They wouldn't <laughs> allow us to get an education. Then they would call us ignorant and unlearned. Uh, standard operating procedure. So Isaac Eaton, who was a brilliant man, a brilliant scholar, and a great pastor, decided he was going to help educate these young men himself. What a novel idea. And so he started the Hopewell Academy. Now, when the, the academy was founded down here, they majored in two things. They majored in preaching and they majored in grammar. And the reason is because they wanted to teach their, their preachers how to write. Amen? Amen. Because they couldn't get their own materials. Uh, it's, it's incredible that the more things change, the more they stay the same. We can't get our own materials because we haven't been writing our own materials. These preachers, uh, Thomas Curtis, John Anderson, Joseph Powell, John Blackwell, Charles Thompson, John Gano, or Gano, um, born in Hopewell, July 22nd, 1727. Uh, the writer compiled or copied these items from an old minute book of First Hopewell. John Gonneau called to exercise his gifts in November of 1752 and so forth. Hezekiah Smith, the Baptist apostle to New England, licensed October 1762. James Manning, founder of Brown University, and John Sutton, his co-worker in locating Brown University. Other men also foremost in politics, law, Merchandise, cabinet councils, and military affairs were graduates of Hopewell School, which was founded in 1756. It was a for now listen. It was a foremost center of education, and it was an extreme of folly to remove it to Rhode Island. Hmm. The denomination has suffered irreparable losses by its closing. Say now, why, why, why did the why did the Baptist suffer? In his opinion, the Baptist suffered because the school closed. Well, I'm, my opinion is, and I, 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 this just my opinion, is that this school was locally operated by this man right here. He was solely responsible for the lives of those young men that were educated just a block from this church. And when it when it moved to Rhode Island, it no longer became a school that was was that was put together mm. chiefly for educating these preachers. It became a college situation, yep. so forth, and all the different influences uh, of a liberal arts education came in. And I believe that's what happened. I believe that's what he's trying to say as well. What does that say to us? It says that we probably are the best ones. And I'm not. You don't have to. You know, just take this for a grain of salt, and just whatever you you know you think about this. But when a school loses its emphasis on trying to educate its young men to preach the gospel, or when it loses its emphasis on trying to teach them to be able to produce works that will benefit their own churches and their own generation, then it, it, it gets off course and it hurts it very definitely. Pieces of this building used to be the academy. Some of it's been torn down, some of it's still here. Uh, but this is where it was. This is where those men were trained at really Think about this now. John Gano, who baptized General Washington and uh, oversaw a lot of different, a lot of revivals. These men saw Hezekiah Smith. These men were trained. A very small situation. It wasn't a large place. I'm not against Bible colleges. Don't get me wrong. My children, I've, I've got two. My old, two oldest kids are off at Bible college. Uh, but we need to rethink some of what we do. As soon as they took this out from underneath the auspices of that local church. It hurt their students. So there's no doubt about that in my